what is up guys so as you can see we're going full bowie today i'm so excited to be able to finally announce the tracey ultra violet starlighter i used it to highlight my entire like upper body and face today for this completely ethereal look stay tuned check out how i did it and enjoy Mwah. First step is doing a brow block. Basically, you're just gluing your eyebrows down so that you can cover them with foundation. I used my Fenty foundation because it's nice and has high coverage. And then I came in with a kind of dark mauve blush so that I could come in and really contour out my entire face. My cheekbones, I used a super duper sharp line and then blended it out slightly so that I had those just extremely sharp cheekbones like Bowie before coming in and chiseling out my nose. Essentially, I'm just looking at a picture of David Bowie's cover and contouring my nose, my eyes, my forehead, my cheeks and around my mouth area so that I can get that same look that he has in this film. I did add a lot of contouring to my neck and collarbones because I do not have a David Bowie neck and I needed to transform into David Bowie for this. I used Milk Makeup's Flex Concealer for some added highlight before coming in with the brand new Tracee Starlighter Highlight in Ultraviolet to basically like bathe myself in um, so that I got that really ethereal, luminescent glow, very bowy. Um, I just added layers and layers to everywhere that I wanted. So I did kind of a base layer all over, but then I would come back in and strobe it along my cheekbones, along my brow bones, my fake Adam's apple, and my little chin that I essentially just highlighted to look like David Bowie's. One of the things I love about this Starlighter is that you really can use it anywhere, all over. So it came in handy when adding in my fake Adam's apple and getting my collarbones to really pop out and kind of come to life. For the lips, I just came in with a plum lip liner, but I was really, really light-handed because I really just wanted to enhance the shape a bit before highlighting with my Starlighter. Once I was happy with the highlight all over, it was time to start on the lightning bolt. I used my Mayron Paradise paints to paint this entire lightning bolt from the orange shade for the outline all the way through to the red-orange shading as well as the blue and navy outlines of it. I did want to give the middle just a little bit of pop, so I came in with some eye pigment from Milk Makeup. This is the shade Gig. It's a really pretty like gold shade and just added some shimmer. And all of the brushes that I used to paint the lightning bolt are from Delium Tools. I feel like they're just really high quality and they're actually meant for special effects makeup. So they came in handy this Halloween season for sure. Once I was happy with the lightning bolt and kind of the shading all around, I added in the last pops of highlight with my Starlighter in the shade Ultraviolet. So I added it to the center of my lids, the kind of dimples on the chin, center of the nose, and then of course the cheekbones because these are the features that I want to stand out the most in this look. I finished with some Kush mascara, highlighted my shoulders, and completed it 
with of course some Bowie bronze hair. This is from Clairol. It is their color crave. It is temporary and it's really be cool because it is kind of like a paint. So you, I painted it into my hairline to finish off the Bowie look.